The work goes on, the cause endures, the hope still lives, and the dream shall never die. No matter who writes the history books, when people look back on this century, they will say that Edward Kennedy was one of the ablest and most productive, most compassionate and most effective men who served in the United States Senate in the entire history of the country. Now to Boston as we show you live coverage of the debate between Democratic incumbent Edward Kennedy and his Republican challenger, Mitt Romney. I believe that abortion should be safe and legal in this country. I believe that since Roe v. Wade has been the law for 20 years, that we should sustain and support it. And I sustain and support that law and the right of a woman to make that choice. On the question of the choice issue, I have supported the Roe v. Wade. I am pro-choice. My opponent is multiple choice. When, uh, Mr. Romney, are you going to tell the people of Massachusetts which health care program you favor? I have a plan. I have a position paper on health care. I'm happy to show it to you, Senator, anytime you'd like. Mr. Romney, it isn't a question of showing me your paper. It's a question of showing all of the people in here that are watching this program the paper. Well, they can get They ought to have an opportunity to know. Yeah, I think it's a, a wonderful idea to, to take it through piece by piece. And, uh, and That's what you have to do as legislators. I understand, That's exactly Senator. what you have to do as legislators. Now he's for family leave. Now he looks like he's for minimum wage. Now he's for education uh, reform. If we give him two more weeks, he may even vote for me because those are the things I am for. Mitt Romney called me to congratulate me on being re-elected to the United States Senate. The best way to find out about what a party will do is what it, that it has done. Uh, we were the ones that brought higher education, the Medicare programs, the Medicaid uh, programs, knocked down the walls of discrimination. We brought a sound uh, economy, a sensible foreign policy. Those are the, the essential values of the Democratic Party, aren't they? I love this country. I believe in the bright light of hope and possibility. I always have, even in the darkest hours. I know what America can achieve. I've seen it. I've lived it. And with Barack Obama, we can do it again. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> this is the cause of my life. New hope that we will break the old gridlock and guarantee that every American, North, South, East, West, young, old, will have decent quality health care as a fundamental right and not a privilege. Today's decision was a victory for people all over this country whose lives will be more secure because of this law and the Supreme Court's decision to uphold it. If Teddy were here, he would tell us now it's time to roll up our sleeves, get to work, fully implement the law, and move on with the business of, of our country. This one was a long time coming, and it's one that I knew um, 
my husband would have loved to have seen. Everything he did was about the future. It was about going forward. It was about passing the torch to a new generation. Those of us who knew Teddy and worked with him here, people of both parties, know that what drove him was something more. Ted Kennedy's passion was born not of some rigid ideology, but of his own experience. That large-heartedness, that concern and regard for the plight of others is not a partisan feeling. It's not a Republican or a Democratic feeling. It, too, is part of the American character. Well, I've never shied away from being called a, a liberal, but what I have done is stand up for my beliefs. The work begins anew. The hope rises again, and the dream lives on.